Welcome back to the channel. My name is Darren. We are at Forest City's beautiful legacy course. Have you played this course? What do you think of the play on this course? I think this course is beautiful and it's perfect for beginners as the fairways are really wide. Uh, they're really generous with the fairways and the greens are actually in excellent condition right now. So on the 10th tee, uh, we've got tons of fairway towards the right and this kind of suits my eye to play a high fade. And on the second shot, I was left with about 130 meters, but the pin was actually placed right in front. On hindsight, I actually needed more than 130 to place the ball on the green. The ball ended up short and I was kind of confused. Now, after looking back at this video, I realized that, yep, I needed 135 meters. And now I'm left with a really difficult chip. It's kind of short side as I don't really have much green to work with. Well, I could have putted up from there or went with a bump and run, but I chose a more difficult shot and I walked off with a bogey. Now, hole 11, we can actually lay up towards the right side. But the pin was about 230 meters away and it was really tempting for me to go for it. So I took out a driver. It was kind of long. And actually, I could have just taken out a three wood. Now we're looking at um, the fairway from the right side of uh, this hole. And I think that would have been a better option. From here, I needed the ball to land high and soft. So I used my lob wedge. Ball still landed hard yep. and almost made this birdie. Hole 12 is a par 5 and this fairway just screams, just bomb this ball. Hit it as hard as you can. So, bombs away. Now I'm left with about 240 meters to the pin and I was thinking of hitting the driver off the deck. Let's see how it goes. Yep, just as I thought. So I'm now left with 150 meters to the pin and the wind is blowing against us. So the wise thing to do would be to club up, hit a six iron. Take one more club, have a smooth swing, not hit it so hard because you want to keep the ball down with the low spin. Oh, yeah. And I place the ball about 16 to 17 feet from the hole. It's a good look. Now, the one thing that I've changed in my putting routine, as you can see here, um, with all the YouTube videos I've been shooting for about a year already, is that I'm not taking any practice strokes. I'm just going purely with my instinct. I'm lining up the ball with a line on it, and I'm just going to stroke the putt, hit the ball, and visualize the ball going into the hole. This par 3 was about 165 meters. So the wind is still blowing against us and still think still the same thing, the usual thing. I'm going to hit one more club up. If the wind's too strong, I'll take two. So I went with a 5 iron. The ball landed pin high and I'm kind of satisfied as putting the ball on the green from a long distance is always a good thing. Now there's this circle of friendship around the hole. And it's a really generous one, so I'm going to take my ball for par. Thank you very much. This par 4, we've got bunkers right in the middle and it's switchable for my drive. So I'm going with a low draw, uh, placing the ball on the left side. Now if the ball's on the right, it's fine too. Oh, that's Not okay. big of a problem, as the fairways are really wide here. With the wind in my face, I've got a 6 iron from 150 meters. I'm clubbing up. As you can tell, I'm using a lot of six irons, maybe five irons from the blue tees. 
This course is long. I think if I were to play off the tips, maybe a four iron, three iron maybe even. So if you find the course really long, just play the forward tees and you have a great time. <laughs> I'm going to use an 8 iron to hit about 140 meters to a pin that is far right. I wish I could have gone more right, but the trees were kind of in my way. Not really in my ball's way, but in my vision. And I just want to stay away from hitting those trees. From here, it's a two part. I thought the green was going to be really quick on the downhill. As you can see, it's kind of shiny. But it wasn't that quick and walking away with the par is still good. Now at this point of time, I'm already pretty tired. Uh, we woke up really early just to get to this place and the sun is really hot. If I'm not wrong, it's about 11 a.m. maybe. I bombed the drive. Uh, it's a high cut. And from here, I'm left with about 185 meters to the pin and I've got a 4 iron. Pulled it badly and the ball landed in a really awkward spot. As I walked up, you will see many of this, ball. I would say waste bunkers. When you step on it, it's really, really soft. And you want to get the ball out. I would say you want to nip it off the sand. So as you can tell, my stance is kind of narrow. I'm standing a bit closer and I'm trying to get Fit. my length of swing, the club hit just below my shoulders. Uh, with that, you can actually prevent your club from digging into the sand. Oh, don't have left to Walking away with a par is a good score, considering where I was for my third shot. Now this par 4, I sliced it. Body's a bit tired and when you get tired, you don't really... You're not in a position where you can control your body. The course is so wide that even with a big cut, you still can manage to yeah, find your ball. And I found mine hiding below this plant and leaves. And the lie is okay, just that I have to negotiate and force my club face through the leaves. So I'm going with a three quarter punch. I have about 90 meters, but I went with a pitching wedge instead. So always take more club and not the club that's just nice for that distance. Again, walking away with a par from where I was is a good score. The last hole is a par 4. Um, my driver has been trending from left to right. So I was aiming really far left with this and go with a high cut. As you notice, my driver is kind of a fade and I draw with my irons. How many of you out there are the same? I went with a 9 iron and put the ball at the back of the green. Now from this spot, you can actually choose to putt, but I was actually practicing my chips with a 50 degree. Walked away with a par. I thoroughly enjoyed the conditions of this course, and I hope to play the classic the next round. Okay. Thank you, and see you guys soon.